Hey, Rocky, happy Purple Thursday here from Tarleton. It's, it's good to see you. Thanks for taking time to, to join us. And I just want to let everyone know I'm, I'm joined today by, um, with Rocky Harden. Rocky's our uh, president of the foundation board and, and does so much more than that for this institution, deeply loves our institution. And Rocky, I hope that you and your family are, are safe and well and everyone's healthy. We are. Uh, we're trying to get used to the new normal, I guess, at least for the next, uh, hopefully just a few weeks, but uh, who knows, it may turn into a few months, but hopefully your family's doing well. And uh, just curious uh, as to how things are going on campus and, um, you know, how you guys are adjusting to everything that's going on. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, thank, and thanks for all, you sent me countless texts over the few weeks checking on students and faculty and staff. and. I tell you, you'd be so proud of the effort here. Literally, if you think about, we were on spring break when this entire uh, <laughs> eruption occurred, and I, that's what I've called it—a disruption and eruption. Um, and we, so we extended spring break, as you know, for a week to give our faculty and staff time to prepare. And at that time, we knew we were going to have to go to a virtual learning platform. At the time, we thought it would be for three or four weeks, and and then it's extended for the remainder of the semester. But Rocky, I want, I want you to convey to the board and, and other alumni how proud I am and, and everyone really is of our faculty, um, our staff, and our students. They have band together, worked together. Our faculty have done a phenomenal job of getting 100% of our uh, curriculum on a virtual online platform. Um, and we've had very few bumps in the road. Not to say that we've had a few, we have, but, but folks that had never taught an online class or now teaching online classes and interacting just as you and I are today via Zoom and other uh, Zoom, Wimba and other mechanisms uh, and models of delivery. And it has just been absolutely phenomenal. Well, that's great to hear. I know, uh, at least for our company, we uh, not, probably 90% of our folks are working from home. And uh, the good thing is they are able to work from home. Uh, so it was uh, less of an adjustment for us other than just not being in an office and around people. But I can only imagine uh, the hoops that you guys had to jump through to get things set up and, and uh, change the, the normal way that you guys have, have taught. Yeah, so 13,000 students suddenly became somewhat educationally displaced. <laughs> and uh, we had roughly 4,000 students, just a slight tick under 4,000 uh, students on campus. And we have a little under 800 today where th this was their safest environment. Uh, they felt uh, that they wanted to stay here. And, and we, you know, we provide nutritional, uh, hot, great meals for these students. Uh, Sodexo's done a great job continuing to provide those services. S SSE has done a phenomenal job of keeping the, the campus clean and, and, and as sterile as possible in this environment. So it, it's been really, really good. And, and our students have really band together. They're, they're looking out for one another. They're helping, they're assisting. But as you know, uh, this, this, uh, this outbreak, this virus has, has caused quite a bit of disruption with the local economy. And so many of our students have, have lost their part-time, their temp, their seasonal job. Um, and and it's, it's created some, some financial hardship. And that's really why I wanted to call you today. Uh, from, the, from, the, from the depths of my heart, and, and, and I represent all the faculty and staff and community members, we want to thank the board uh, for your generosity. And a lot of folks don't know, but uh, Kyle McGregor, you know, off to my shoulder, you'll see this gigantic check for $20,000 that, that he brought in to me uh, from the foundation board. Uh, and that goes directly to our student emergency fund. And this is not the first time that you and the board have stepped up. I just want to say thank you and allow you to make comments on behalf of the board. Well, we appreciate that. Uh, the reason the check is so large, I really wasn't sure how well your eyesight was. So uh, I asked Ashley to make sure it's big enough for you to read the, uh, the print uh, on the check. So, uh, no, that's, uh, that's what the foundation's for. You know, we're here to support the university, the university goals, the students uh, through scholarships and other means. And uh, over the many years that the foundation has been in place, um, you know, we're proud to support uh, the university. Um, all of our board members was absolutely on board with uh, donating uh, the money to the, uh, to the emergency fund. Uh, we hope that in some small way it can help those students uh, 
who may have lost their job and uh, found them, themselves in a situation that they never expected. And quite frankly, um, none of us has ever really been through something like this, uh, yeah. at least for many, many years. Uh, I'm, I'm certainly not old enough to remember the other pandemic back in 1918, but uh, back then they didn't shut the world down either. So uh, this is very unique. This is something uh, that, you know, they'll remember the rest of their life. Uh, and hopefully they can, uh, with the help of the Tarleton University and others who are donating, uh, that they, we can help them get through this uh, and relieve some of the pressure that they may be feeling. So uh, uh, kudos to you and, and, the, and all the staff and everybody there at the university for uh, handling this the way you have and getting things set up uh, for teaching online, for helping those students there. Uh, and we're proud to support the university and we'll continue to do so. Well, I just want, I, I could give you thousands of examples and, and this gift in conjunction with gifts uh, that have been made previously from other donors, um, certainly the, the, the regents, uh, have a, they have an emergency uh, fund that they distribute money that, that's helped these students as well. And we've, we've kind of combined and, and cultivated all those different gifts uh, to create this emergency fund. But, but it, it is literally helping thousands, of, not hundreds, but thousands of our students during this period of transition. And I was on the phone uh, this morning with a young lady. Uh, she's lost her, her temp job. Uh, she, she needed $600 uh, to complete her, her the, the portion of, of her um, outstanding bill just to register for her classes next year. She has to move out of her apartment. Things are, things are tough for some of these students and, and we're using every single penny to help, you know, students on an individual basis. And because of your gift, I got some big news I wanna share with you. Uh, this has not been released at all before. So this is, this is new news to everyone. Because of, of the, the foundation's gifts and, and gift and other gifts that have been made, we had an anonymous donor um, step up just two days ago and pledge $50,000 to, to not only match the gift that you're giving, and, and it's, it, it will be used solely for the student emergency fund. And I just wanted to share that, that your gift it served as a seed, and they saw that, and that spurred them to think how they could be um, helpful and how they can impact um, our student learning and, and student living situation. So your gift is already um, uh, multiplying. Wow, that's, 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 that's unbelievable news. Uh, it's great to hear and uh, it, it's amazing how people will step up in a crisis like this and, and uh, we're so thankful for that and uh, hopefully uh, more of that will come. So. Yeah, so, and we've had a lot of donors and, and, um, and so various supporters, uh, vendors, um, corporate sponsors, they've all reached out to myself or Dr. McGregor and, and others and they've asked how can they give, how can they, get involved and of course we our our day of giving was was postponed and and we really had to think about you know being sensitive during during the time when some folks are struggling uh, others are not and they want to step up and they want to help their alma mater we've moved that giving day uh, just so you can share with with your your board and and others we, we're moving that uh, to um, to May 5th and that's in that's going to be in conjunction with the International Day of Unity, and we think that that's when a lot of other institutions are are having their day of giving, if you will. And our day of giving is is really going to be central around helping students, uh, helping with the scholarship initiatives, with emergency funds, uh, with summer school costs. So so it's one hundred percent going to be focused on on helping our students during this time of of need and and uncertainty and unprecedented transition. So uh, I just wanted to share that with you and, and, and hopefully folks will mark their calendars for May 5th to, to help these students. If you're in a position uh, to help students, I encourage you to do so because uh, I can assure you every single penny uh, that, that we are, are, are taking in at this point for that fund is going directly to our students. And it's making an impact. These students are able to remain in school and persist and finish that degree in which so many of our seniors are so close to finishing. That's great, uh, great news. I, I knew it had gotten postponed and not heard the new date, so that's good to hear. And uh, like yourself, uh, I know it'll be important for all of us to give what we can and to uh, support the students. That's uh, 
you know, they're at a point in their life where uh, trying to get their education to improve their life and move on and, and uh, get their education and, and get into the workforce. Uh, this time is so important for them. So hopefully we can uh, raise a lot of money and, uh, and help support them. Do you guys have any specific goals in mind for, uh, for that day? Or? We, we don't yet. Uh, we're kind of working through that. We, we've really, we focus so much right now on this emergency student fund and trying to, uh, trying to raise money. Uh, Kendall and I are, are making a gift uh, to that fund as well, just to help as many students as we can. And, and it's just, that, that's been our focus. Uh, it, it, as you know, we're all somewhat in survival mode uh, and we were, now we're transitioning out. The numbers, thankfully in Texas are, are trending uh, favorably. I, I don't think we're gonna see quite the catastrophic uh, effect. I, at least I pray and hope that the numbers hold true. Um, and it, it may occur sooner than, than later than we anticipated. So I really hope and, 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 and pray that we're back to some sense of normalcy by mid-July, uh, early August. We're, we're, Rocky, we're planning on uh, business as usual next semester. Uh, we're, we're hoping to have another uh, bumper class, maybe a record enrollment. Um, and so we just got to keep that positive momentum that we had going this year. Uh, into the fall. So, but once we get those goals, we'll certainly uh, share those and convey those. Great. No, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's great news uh, hearing you guys are, are getting prepared for the fall semester and hopefully maybe even sooner, maybe you can catch that last summer semester. But be great. Uh, I know the students will, uh, those that aren't back uh, are probably looking forward to getting, getting back on campus and being around their friends. It's very uh, unusual right now with and you know us, our social distancing. Um, most of us like to hang out and uh, be with people, and especially the young people. So uh, it's kind of funny the unique ways that they have found to um, through Zoom and other things to to get together. And uh, you know uh, they'll have a uh, well, party, but it'll just be you know uh, them at their home and uh, everybody calling and getting together. And so right. a lot of uh, unique things are coming out of this uh, situation. Yeah, let me ask you, for those seniors that may be watching um, this, could, could you share with them as a business owner and, and, and a CEO and a person that's, you know, you, you have a lot of employees, uh, you, you're a major driver in, in industry and market. Could you, what, what advice do you have for those seniors that will graduate and they were planning on entering the workforce? Can, can you share 30 seconds or a minute or whatever about, Give, give them some advice because I think it, 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 it would be um, well versed from you. Well, I, I'm, you know, I'm not sure I'm the expert at this, but certainly, uh, you know, I think for them to be encouraged, uh, stay encouraged, uh, keep the focus. Um, you know, maybe they don't have a job right out of college, uh, but just, you know, remain calm, uh, keep sending out resumes. Th this will end at some point and they need to be prepared for when it does. Uh, get your resumes out. I don't care if, um, you know, if the, a company is shut down or not, they're not hiring today, go ahead and send those resumes in. I know our HR department is still working every day. We're still collecting resumes, even though during this period we're not hiring. Uh, but as soon as this ends and things get going again, uh, then we'll get back into the mode of, uh, of hiring. So, um, you know, just don't be discouraged. Keep working hard, um, you know, keep studying, finish up strong, uh, and just be prepared and ready to go whenever things do kick off. And, you know, I, nobody knows when. Uh, I suspect it's going to be sooner rather than later. Right. Uh, so I think while things may be dark and gloomy today, I think uh, there's really light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, as you mentioned, Texas seems to be trending in a positive way. Uh, a lot of other states is doing that as well. So uh, just keep working, get your resume out, uh, stay in contact. If you've had interviews, uh, stay in contact with those folks uh, and, you know, uh, make sure you stay in front of them. Uh, be the squeaky wheel, so to speak, um, and let them know you're still interested and in going to work there. And uh, just be prepared when this thing kicks off because I think maybe uh, this quarter is going to be slow. Third quarter will start ramping up, I believe, and then hopefully in the fourth quarter, everything will be somewhat back to normal, uh, at least as normal as it can be. And I think employment will 
uh, turn around. Uh, restaurants will open back up. A lot of businesses will open up. We can't not work uh, and make a living. Right. Uh, so this can't go on too long uh, before you know people will just start opening businesses on their own. So fortunately for our company, we're uh, we're one of those businesses that we're allowed to continue to work and, and do our business. Unfortunately, we can do that from home to keep our distancing. Uh, but uh, we work all over the country and, and uh, we're, we're busy now, not as busy as we were. We have some companies who put things on hold, but they too have told us that be prepared when this opens back up to go. So, uh, so it's, uh, it's going to change. Uh, keep your spirits up and, uh, and just enjoy your time at home. I think that's great, great advice. Uh, I love how you, you coin be prepared to go. And that's the key is I've, I've read where there are market uh, indicators that are showing that we could come out stronger. And if you look at what the market's done in the last few days, it, it's, it's showing very few signs of slowing. And, and so uh, the stimulus money, I think is going to make a, a tremendous impact. And I love that. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to use that. Uh, I'll give you credit, be prepared to go. When, when, when all lights are green, you better be the fastest rabbit because this is okay. I think is going to take off and, and, and really flourish. So we, we just thank you so much for all that you do for this institution. I, I know how much you love your alma mater. I know, I know that this place means so much and you bleed purple like the rest of us. And um, we, we appreciate you, uh, your leadership, um, your devotion to the institution and, and just your thoughts and, and always putting Tarleton first. Well, thank you, Dr. Hurley. I know uh, Tarleton did so much for me. Um, I was first generation, came off the farm, went to college. Uh, the professor helped me get my first job, uh, and um, I wouldn't be where I'm at today without uh, the good people at Tarleton uh, helped me along the way. So it's our job as, as we go out and get jobs is to give back. And uh, Tracy and I, that's one of the things that, that we committed ourselves to here a few years ago is uh, we love Tarleton. We love that area. We grew up near there, uh, and we want to we want to support Tarleton any way we can and uh, give back as much as we can. Well, we thank you so much, and uh, be be well. Stay stay healthy. Uh, stay socially distanced for a few more weeks, and I, I hope and trust and pray that this thing is going to be behind us, and 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 we're all prepared to go, as Rocky Harden says. That's right. Be ready right. to go. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Good seeing you. Thanks so much. All right. Bye-bye.